And I kind of like how both midfielders uh, dropped uh, when uh, when we were in defensive transitions. What I like the most uh, is the new passing system and the fact that fast players can actually outrun defenders. Today, we've got something special. We've got a lovely 2v2 matchup. Team Hullet versus Team Ducks. From Team Hullet, we have Danny and Levy. And from Team Ducks, we have Adriman and Gravison. And then also after they play, they're going to get to speak to uh, some producers and developers as well and share their thoughts. Right, let's get cracking. Team Ducks, Team Hullet, are you ready? Right, let's take a look at the squads being used by our two teams today, starting off with Team Ducks. You can see already there's been some tinkering with the positions. Cristiano Ronaldo has been dropped back into centre mid for chemistry reasons. And there is, of course, the new man in Paris. Not that new man, the other one. Sergio Ramos. There's a lot of new people in Paris, actually, at the moment. Let's take a look at their competitors team, which, of course, is Team Hullet. They have got the main man, Mbappe, up top. We have a PSG connection in this team as well. There are different players with Di Maria. Dembele from Barcelona. Uh, you've got Dybala back there as well. Okay, here we go. We are underway here in the friendly, we'll call it a club friendly, between two of the standout teams in a competitive FIFA 21. Team Ducks and Team Hullet, obviously from the Netherlands and from Spain respectively. Really excited to see how they can do in this 2v2 format. Is uh, Team Hullet starting off lively here? Or oh, block just in front of the goal. And then the save there from goalkeeper of Team Ducks. A lot more to look at with the 2v2 game. Okay, we're back underway now. Team Hullet on the ball with a switch of play. I like the look of that. The different animation on that switch of play to what we used to on FIFA 21. A lot of things have been added, of course, especially with player movement and High promotion, as we're calling it. Chance on the edge of the box for Kevin De Bruyne. Flicking it up for himself. Trying a slightly odd header there. And now Spanish Team Ducks can counter. Adriman and Gravison both having really good years last year. Adriman particularly was right up there amongst the best in Europe for the whole of the year. Saw him at many events in our kind of uh, online season, if you like, due to covid and there's got to be a goal. Surely, and that pass has not found its entire target. And you wonder how much of that was because of the off-the-ball movement that 2v2 allows. How much of it is a new feature, perhaps, of FIFA 22. Those passbacks maybe not as easy as we're used to. These are things we need to figure out over the coming days and weeks as we get our hands on the game. But Team Duck's getting a little bit more into this now. And you have to remember when you watch 2v2, you're watching a completely different kind of football because... If they pass it around really quickly, for example, that's not one person doing that. That's two people working in harmony together, which is a lot harder than it seems. So chemistry is obviously a huge word in Ultimate Team, but it will be a massive word in 2v2. A lot of uh, Leicester shirts. I think that's the kit that Team Hullet are wearing there in the box there to stop the threat of Team Ducks. Got to look at Levy David season last year. What a breakout season it was for this young man. FIFA 21. He really came and dominated it. Some huge performance. He won a regional against the man Tom that we saw, obviously, in our last video. And a massive final performance, and he continued to impress throughout the year. Great fake shot there, and it's wide. We're going to see a lot more uh, identity on teams and tactical identity in a 2v2 format, which is something that I think, you know, is, is mirrored in real-life football. Team Hullet on the ball here. Switch of play. They're enjoying the switch of play at the moment. Very wide. Their uh, fullbacks especially. Playing it around Team Ducks. They're applying some kind of pressure between both Gravison and Adriman. Good play down the right here though. Quadrado on the ball. Ultimately, it's going to go off for a corner. Di Maria into Dembele. Dembele. Great little player for me in the early stages of FIFA 21. Really enjoyed playing with him. Affordable to an extent. And I kept him in my team for a long, long time. Be interesting to see if he has similar uh, use in FIFA 22. It was a five-star week for that really did it for me. Mendy on the ball. Comes inside. Finds Dybala in the middle of the park. Playing a deep role here for Team Hullet. 
Dembele again into Mbappe. Poor pass. And now, could see Team Ducks counter. Kante looking for that big switch. It's not a, a move that we're familiar with seeing Kante do, but he's shown a good range of passing there. Corner for the Spaniards. Half an hour gone, about a third of the way through this match. No goals yet. Been a few chances. This is a chance, surely, here for the lads from Netherlands and Team Hullet. It's a Bapo on the ball looking to create space. And that is just what Kante does. He will not give those players a moment's rest. He finds those areas and intercepts those passes like nobody in the business. Another chance goes missing. Really enjoying watching these two just feel each other out though and work out what the best way to break down a 2v2 opponent on FIFA 22 is. Kante again. Very busy in the middle there. Poor pass. With a lofted pass there. It's Fernandez on the ball. Here's Di Maria. Cancelo, sorry. Good talk, good talk. <laughs> okay, approaching the latter stages of the first half now. Another switch of play. We're seeing a lot of that in this game. St. Maximin plays it back down the right to Cancelo. Ronaldo in the box. Can we get a shot off here? It's a save onto the post and back into Courtois. Very grateful hands. Definitely the chance of the game so far. And it fell to Team Ducks. Dembele and Valverde linking up here. Quadrado playing a right back. A position he's moved back into at later stages of his career. Varane with a lovely curled switch of play there. Definitely an animation I'm enjoying the look of in FIFA 22 already. And that's the break. Half time. Definitely some chances. I'd say the better chances fell to Team Ducks. But no goals scored at the break. I'm loving these stats. You can see... Despite what I just said, the stats are actually saying that it's uh, Team Hullet with a 1.1 expected goals who perhaps should be 1-0 up, but only 0 0.9 expected goals for Team Ducks. Not a lot in it. Shall we bring the guys in for a quick chat? Let's start with Team Hullet. Um, I actually thought, uh, we'll start with you, Danny. I actually thought that the, the Ducks had a few more chances than you there, although I'm looking at the new stats and expected goals, you guys had 1.1. So the FIFA stats expected you to score a goal. Why didn't you? Why did it too? Yeah, that's a good question. I think we, uh, yeah, we deserved the we deserved the goal in the first like twenty or thirty minutes, uh, and of course they deserved the goal uh, with the last chance uh, they got in, in, later in the game. But uh, yeah, I think we got like two or three small to big chances, uh, which gave us one point one. But uh, yeah. yeah, we didn't manage to score, so that's uh, that's our own fault, of course. Plenty of time left to score. Um, Gravison, how are you finding that first half, particularly obviously playing with your, your teammate, but a partner in a 2v2 mode? Yeah, it's it's hard because, you know, uh, I didn't play that much games, but he's been grinding the game, so he's kind of the director voice <laughs> over the game. And I think we deserve uh, one goal, maybe two, but they also had uh, big chances. So, yeah, it's been a good game for the moment. All right, thanks, guys. Okay. We're going to jump back into the second half here. Good to hear from the lads there. I think there'll be goals. Based on what I saw in that first half, I think someone is going to find the back of the net. I think when you're starting off in a game, particularly, again, on 2v2, it can actually be harder to get it going and get it moving when you're not on the same wavelength. But with practice, I think there's nothing more rewarding in FIFA than playing with friends, with teammates, and working together to get those goals. Can we start to mirror you know, traditional football then, You know, working as a team, and that shared joy that only football can bring? Okay, reminder, we've got uh, the two Netherlands players from Team Hullet, Danny and uh, Levy de Veerd, in the uh, maroon kit. And in the yellow and blue is the Spaniards, Gravison and Adraman from Team Ducks.
Mendy on the throw here. Gives it to Zaha, who's making an appearance. Obviously, early in the game, you see a little bit more of these players. As we get further into the competitive schedule, I'm sure only the biggest names and the icons will come out to play. De Bruyne are in there. Some of these guys have had a little bit more time on the beta than the others, depending on what they've been doing for the last few days. Might have affected what players they've got available, but the squads look pretty even to me. I like that pass out. That's another animation that I'm really enjoying. It looks very natural, the way that ball was struck there from the centre-back. Definitely feels a net. another great example there. Very lovely switch of play. Feels very lifelike, I have to admit. A little bit of work down the right here. He's going to play in Cancelo on the overlap from right back. Ball in, keeper needs to claim it. Courtois used his six foot seven frame very well. Just signed a new contract with Real Madrid. He's staying there for the foreseeable. Okay, Cuadrado's got it at the back. Into Varane, the new Man United man. Lovely little switch of play. That's really been the highlight for me of this 2v2 so far. He's watching the switches. They look great. But are they being used to good effect by our players here? As Kante gets forward, he's been the standout player for me in this game so far. Some big interceptions. He has been the first name on my ultimate team team sheet now. Has to be for at least the last three years. I love him. I love playing with him. And I think it's going to continue into FIFA 22 based on what I'm seeing here. Here he is again now. Over to St. Maximin. With an electric start to the Premier League against West Ham. A lovely bit of skill and an assist. West Ham did win, of course. Thought I'd throw that in there. Again, the switches of play. Quite important in the 2v2 to create space. Not so many chances in this second half. We approached the last 20 or so minutes. Not a great pass forward there. Red by the defence. Kante. Gets it back. Over to St. Maximin on the right. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes now. The new man at Barcelona. Depay on the ball there. Dispossessed though. Can we see our first goal of the game as we go down the left here with Team Hullet. Mbappe on the ball. Can he beat his man? Lots of yellow shirts to beat if he's going to get an opening. Mendy into De Bruyne. The two-man City players linking up. Lovely pass to Sancho. Zaha finds space. There's a lot of Premier League players involved in this move. But they are dispossessed. And now we could see a counter from Ducks. Fernandez to Kante. Lovely switch again. Could be run onto here. Down the line. Is he onside? No, he's off. Okay, about 15 minutes left. Valverde. Poor pass there. He's giving it away. Ronaldo. Still going strong here. Linking up with Mbappe. Looking for the 1 2. Great header back from Varane to Courtois. Chance here for Team Hullet. So many defensive shirts around. I mean, I'm definitely noticing that in FIFA 22. Defensive line deeper, harder to break down, in position quicker. And then when you add the 2v2 element, you've obviously got the fact that two of you can be manually defending, you know. Choosing when to press and when to hold. A little bit more than you can when you're playing on your own. That's what I'm fascinated to see as we no doubt see more uh, 2v2 and team-based competitions. It's really excited to see how the gameplay changes. And it really will because there's so many more decisions that have to be made. Anyway, Ronaldo in the box here. Looking to get a chance. Gives it away but gets it back. But he's tackled once again by Quadrado. Can Zaha break? It's a great ball over the top. Oh, and he's going to make it. And it's Mbappe. Could be the only goal of the game here. And he's in. It's a massive goal for Team Hullet. Fantastic through ball over the back line. And that man is who you want on the end of it. Composed and measured with the finish there past the keeper. And you have to wonder whether Team Ducks have got any time to get back in this now. And there could be another chance here for Mbappe who's really getting in behind the... His actual PSG teammate now, Ramos, whose legs aren't as fast as they used to be. Mbappe holding on to it here. Can he get shot off? Gives it to Zaha. They're just playing with their food before they devour it here. Mbappe. Valverde. Oh, they're getting cheeky now. 
The Hulia boys have come to play. And they know that clock is ticking down. And I know this is just a, a pre-season beta friendly between the teams. But is there any such thing in competitive FIFA? I don't know if there is. Every loss is remembered. And this will probably be it. And it will be a win for Team Hullet. Could they double that scoreline? There it is. It's a narrow but decent 1-0 win for Team Hullet against the Spaniards of Team Ducks. Okay, we've seen some gameplay. Now it's a very special treat, starting with Team Ducks. So we're going to speak to two lads from our FIFA 22 game design team. So I'll hand over to Sam and Cancho now. High promotion is a big feature this year. What did you guys think of all of the new animations in the game? Uh, I think uh, they're nice, like the collusion between the players uh, are improved uh, since last year. And I kind of like how the both midfielders, when we we were playing the four through three, uh, the four two three one, how both midfielders uh, dropped uh, when uh, when we were in defensive transitions, and how how they also attacked uh, between between some some attacking moments of the game. So yeah, I think they they were good. They were cool. That's awesome. Uh, what are your first impressions about the new goalkeeper system? It's something that we've heard a lot lately and we want to get your take from the pro, basically pro player experience. Uh, I think that the new system of the goalkeepers is nice. At the moment, I don't remember any, mis any, any big mistake of a goalkeeper. Uh, sometimes it's so difficult to score a goal, but... It's the, the first date of the beta. I think uh, we will green the game a lot and I think it's a good change. So I noticed in the 2v2 match that you guys were switching the play, switching the ball from one side to the other a lot, and we improved the ball physics this year. I, I don't know, did you guys notice this uh, while playing? Yes, I did uh, because uh, I'm kind of a a player that wants to transition from one wing to the other and the uh, long through ball it was kind of nice from uh, the right uh, winger to the left winger or with the right midfielder to the left winger it was it was good and you know i think it, that's also good because when you play 2v2 one of the most difficult things and i think Ademan will agree is to to switch the player switching is kind of hard because there's two play uh, two players players switching at the same time so uh, they were good uh, it was fluid and i think we we punished some mistakes on the player switching on the team bullet side so that's good Awesome. Gravis and Adriman, any other questions that you have for us? Anything about the game FIFA 22 mechanics? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with a real quick question, Sam. I remember back in FIFA 18, uh, we have the presentation of the game here in the Santiago Bernabeu. And you were talking about uh, that you, you were focusing on the animation of the players. I remember Cristiano Ronaldo's sprinting and some of that stuff. So. For FIFA 22, what's what was the main focus about the gameplay that you guys wanted to, to check and work on? That's a great question. And it's basically making the game more realistic than ever. And for that, we have the hyper motion technology. So that comes with a big animation refresh and also new machine learning technology. So what you are experiencing is the animation from real people, real players playing the sport competitively. So your first experiences playing FIFA 22, what do you like the most? What do you think is the most different from FIFA 21? What I like the most uh, is the new passing system, the new animations, um, and the fact that fast players can actually outrun defenders uh, when they are like three meters in front of them. Uh, so that's some, some good things and I think the game has potential for sure. When you were playing the 2v2 match, you switched the ball from one side to the other uh, very frequently. We yeah. have also improved our ball physics in the game. Did you notice any changes to the way the ball flies in the air? Um, yeah, a little bit. And I also think like um, last year, the switch from uh, left back to right back uh, sometimes uh, failed. And I think it's 
I, I never failed it this year. I maybe tried it 40, 50, 60 times and I think I completed like 100% of them. So that's nice in my opinion, that the passing is great and also the touches are uh, good. We did a lot of changes, so teams defend more as a unit, so they do more zonal marking. Did you notice any improvements in that area? Does the game feel different in there? Yeah, well, I, I like to, to play aggressive and especially in defending. Uh, it, it works pretty well with the manual jockey. I just need to adapt to it uh, and, and see how that goes for the rest of the year. But I think that's a good, good improvement for this game. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Levy. Good luck in the Thanks upcoming FIFA much. 22 season. Okay, guys, that's about it from us. You've seen some uh, very entertaining 2v2 action. Lots to unpack from that. And then, of course, the questions with our game development team as well. Very exciting stuff. This is the channel you need to come back to if you want to continue to see great FIFA 22 content. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I wish you guys all the best with your FIFA 22 journey. See you on the sticks.